Japan, Ikotaimasu. Well, this is a little shout out to Chemist in Japan. Uh, this is actually day two of my um, stay really here in Japan. And um, I had a good night to uh, rest last night, slept for like 11 hours, uh, like a baby, which doesn't really mean I woke up every other hour and screamed, but um, had great breakfast this morning. I uh, have no clue really what I ate there. Uh, I'm to, gonna try to uh, find out tomorrow. Um, and I'm just uh, on my way to downtown uh, Shinjuku to buy a couple of converters for power and things you need here. Um, actually, I think my American US converters might have worked, um, as the, the plugs look very similar. I'm not sure. Um, one thing I want to show you right now is um, how close traditional Japan and modern Japan is uh, in the area here. Uh, right behind me, you see a um, shrine. It is the Joenji Temple. And this looks like a pretty nice place. I'm going to check this out later. This temple here um, is kind of like... A, yesterday I saw a lot of different shrines and temples um, when I was just walked around. And what's interesting is that, I mean, this really traditional temple is right next to some really big modern skyscraper. And this contrast is something you'll find a lot in Japan. I just avoided uh, filming that lady a moment ago. They, they seem to be very um, particular about the privacy here. So here's a little sh uh, um, shrine and you uh, see the uh, bells that you ring to get attention to the gods and all that. Um, and I definitely will do a couple of features on this uh, in the year to come. So this is a really interesting place. So again, this is the temple and this is the other side of the road. Just to, to show you the, the contrast really. This is probably the, the nicest building that I've seen yet so far in uh, Shinjuku. It's called the uh, cocoon tower and apparently there's some really nice cafe in there that provides some free internet access I haven't been there yet but uh, yesterday I met, met with a guy from the rental agency and he recommended it to me uh, for like good coffee cheap coffee and free work uh, on the internet there I haven't really used video cameras at all in the last like 12 13 14 years and uh, it's kind of funny because people look at me like I'm crazy walking around with the camera vlogging and it uh, does feel kind of awkward, I have to admit. But uh, I guess that's okay, I get used to it. And uh, hopefully I get more than one or two viewers on this. One would be my mom and two, I don't know. Something for you guys, uh, if you try to find your way uh, around Tokyo, you'll find these uh, maps all around. And um, what's interesting is it gives you the location. However, this location is not f uh, facing north, or the map isn't facing north. It's always facing in the direction that you actually look, so that helps. And um, yeah, I used that yesterday when I went back from uh, Roppongi. Very helpful. It was raining earlier, and uh, there might actually be a chance of rain uh, today. Um, the place I try to go to is Yodabashi Cabran, and uh, thanks to my uh, somewhat knowledge of uh, katakana, I think I have found the place. Well, one of the things you find right now that my exact is. Um, Motion stabilizer is pretty much worthless, but uh, there is a Yorubashi camera, and that's where I need to go. Now, this is my kind of temple. Big camera. I found a Yorubashi camera. left Yodabashi camera and I found what I wanted, um, the right adapter and I also looked for a bag which is um, something to use my note, uh, notebook with and I look for something that's um, easily recognizable both by old and new generations and see what I found. It is an odd shape isn't it? It looks like a bag. And uh, so they have it. It's a, a new shape but familiar look with you. I guess you all have heard about people sleeping um, as much as they can uh, between jobs. It's not entirely true because um, some people have actually, actually uh, maximized the efficiency of this process. So watch this. This guy is actually sleeping while he's working. How good is that? Japanese for the win. There you go. It's about uh, half past one right now in the middle of the day and police has blocked off the road for people to shop freely. And they do. It's amazing how busy things are. 
another store I've been trying to get to is a large bookstore. And um, I'll take that place out now. Kino Punya. As you can see, I'm still in front of the bookstore. And it's night. And the streets are open again for cars. But there's still plenty of people around here. Well, I wanted a particular book uh, recommended by chemists in Japan. And uh, I'll put a link up in the sidebar so you can check his channel out. I think it's excellent. Uh, anyways, uh, I couldn't remember the name of the book. So I went home, uh, checked my YouTube account and looked at my favorites. I favorited his video at the time. And uh, yeah, now I forgot the notes at the hotel again. So I think I remember the name though. So we'll, we'll see if I find it. And maybe I can shoot some uh, inside pictures of that um, place as well. It's awesome. I have found it. Chemists in Japan, thank you very much. Actually, I got another one which I'm going to show you in a moment. This one here is quite nice too. And um, it actually has a couple of uh, more kanji in there and a different style of writing too, which I like a lot. So I'm going to check that out. Yeah, I have a German accent. That is so weird. <laughs> 